So living in Devon, I'm lucky enough to be able to get up to Dartmoor every now and again, and I do like to pop up for the occasional bit of wild camping. Um, went up the other week to a site called Grimspound, really superb part of the moor. It's actually a medieval settlement with some really uh, good defined um, hut circles, um, some of the best in Europe, I believe. Also features in Hound of the Baskervilles, uh, in the Sherlock Holmes tale. And yeah, just an awesome part of the moor for a bit of wild camping. I was looking for a really good tool, a flashlight, um, a lantern, something easily carried and easily sort of put popped in the backpack, lightweight. And I think I found the perfect product. So that's really what we're looking at tonight. Um, what we're looking at is the Through Night TS1 survival light. It's a simple lantern, a opaque dome, 180 degrees uh, illumination, and it's built up around an 18650 cell, uh, which also features or functions as a power bank. Three settings um, from four to 100 lumens with run times of eight hours to 120 hours. Um, yeah, so let's have a look and see what's in the box. Obviously got the lantern at the top there, so we'll pop that out. I'll take a proper look at that in a moment and then below you've got a few accessories and of course the instructions so you've got the magnetic um, tail hook and we'll look at how that fits on in a moment and you've got a charging cable obviously the instructions let's have a look first of all at how this all fits together so as I say, this is a unit built up around the 18650 cell. It's got a little magnetic uh, end, or a magnet in the end rather, which holds the cell into this sleeve, but with a gentle push or pull, that pops out. So as you see, that magnet's into there, holds it pretty secure. So you've got the 18650 through night cell and the illumination unit just plugs into the uh, USB-C I think it is USB-C yes USB-C port there which is used to charge this cell um, the head units obviously got the matching socket and a single push electronic switch there now on the top You've got a power indicator, and if you just hold down that tiny little button there for a few seconds, you'll be able to see how much charge is in the cell. So at the moment, fresh out of the box, it's only at 25% charge there. But yeah, so that can be used either to power your flashlight or lantern head in any other 18650 compatible product, or as a power bank using the um, the attached charging cable so the charging cable has got a number of options first of all it's got the standard USB which you can use to charge your power bank at home and then when you're in the field out camping you can take off that little USB revealing USB-C plug that in and now you can take power into either USB-C uh, micro USB or a lightning port as you find on iPhone which is uh, my chosen phone at the moment so that's your charging cable and finally let's take a quick look at the tail hook so I'll pop this back together get it back in its sheath sleeve whatever you want to call it and that just simply clips on the bottom there that's magnetic as well and then you can hang it from the inside of your tent or wherever you want, may want to be if you're a mechanic or you're working in an environment where you've got metal around you you can also use the, the magnet in the end to stick this on to whatever surface you fancy, if it's metal, magnetic metal. Okay, well let's see this in operation. 
So the light's operated by a single press. It goes on in low mode, four lumens. Another press, you're up to medium, 35 lumens. And then the brightest setting is high, which is 100. This doesn't have any memory function, so it'll always come on in the lowest setting. And the, uh, the range of uh, run times goes from 120 up down to eight hours on high. If you give it a quick double press, you throw it into SOS mode. Really good for illuminating inside a tent with that uh, tail hook. That was really one of the main features I wanted on that. And then of course you've got the power bank function. This is now freshly charged up to 100%. It will press there and you get the uh, readout. Use the uh, USB-C for the port there. And obviously the lightning connection for that iPhone. And away you go. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. I should point out the price. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. It comes in around about £24 or just under 30 US dollars. Um, really, really nice little unit. There's only two things that I'd like to see maybe done a little bit differently on it. Um, first of all, the way the, uh, the torch or lantern is activated, um, its button is quite proud little bit nervous of that being uh, pressed when in a backpack um, so it'd be nice maybe to have a lockout feature on there you know you hold it down for a, a little longer than normal it locks it out until you repeat the process to reverse it i think that'd be reassuring and the other um, given that it's a survival light it'd be really nice to be in a position where you could actually get it wet um, this isn't water resistant in any way i don't think um, whether it's some form of um, silicon uh, topper which just goes over the controls there I'm not quite sure but for me I'll certainly be putting that in a, a waterproof container because it does need to be functional when you need it so whether you need it as a power bank or a lantern um, it would be useful just to have that little bit more reassurance around water resistance no problems in practical use so far but uh, as I say it doesn't make any claims about water resistance so that's about it um, if you haven't seen my channel before please do check it out a few flashlight reviews, um, quality boots, denim, um, everyday carry, that sort of stuff. Do check out. You might find that we share some other common interests. If you thought this review was useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any thoughts about this unit, if you've used it yourself or you've got any questions, please put, do put it down in the comments and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.